grassland habitat throughout the country and in Indiana has uh, diminished greatly. The grasslands that we're promoting today are native grasslands with wildflowers that are beneficial for grassland nesting birds. They're going to promote small mammals such as rabbits. They are also going to benefit pollinators. Grasslands are a valuable natural resource that provide many environmental benefits beyond just wildlife habitat, including soil erosion, water quality protection, and flood prevention. Grasslands, with their deep-rooted perennial plants, hold the soil in place. They improve infiltration and reduce runoff, protecting and purifying water by retaining nutrients, pesticides, and bacteria out of our water courses. Our native grassland species that we have uh, here in Indiana is a pretty diverse group of uh, bird species that we have. You're not really going to find them in a lot of other habitats, so they're really specific to uh, what we really need if you're trying to convert different habitat, whether it's landscape or old residential or agricultural land. It's a great spot to see some of the different um, Hinslow sparrows and dick thistles that we're hearing uh, behind us right now, but also as you get into the winter uh, phases, you'll see birds of prey such as rough-legged hawks, short-eared owls that are using this habitat as well, and they're not going to use other habitat, and they're really going to be specific to the native species that we have in many of our natural prairies and grasslands. One out of every three bites of food we take is thanks to a pollinator. Pollinators are in decline worldwide, but there are things we can do on our property to benefit pollinators, including planting grassland habitat. Having a variety of floral species in a number of colors and shapes benefits many different species of pollinators. It's important to not only have the nectaring habitat for the pollinators, which they use for food for the adults, but also larval habitat or where they're going to raise their young. Importantly, and probably most well known, is that of the milkweeds which are what the monarch butterfly lays its eggs on and raises its caterpillars. So landowners that are interested in uh, establishing wildlife habitat have a lot of resources that they can deal with today. A first great step is to contact your district biologist with the Division of Fish and Wildlife. They have a great knowledge of many programs within their own agency and the federal agencies and often work in conjunction to help those landowners establish that habitat. I, our relationship with them is just, I, I, I enjoy this this morning, you know, they're, they're people of like ilk that, that are interested in the same things you are. They, they, uh, it's so nice to have a, a bunch of smart people sometimes to, to talk to about these things, to, to discuss that. Um, that's, that in itself is a great thing, don't you think, Ellen? And, and the, um, the, the, the people who are thinking about doing this, we, we would just say that, that the benefits are immense. In uh, 2011 uh, we um, decided that we were farming 250 uh, acres of corn and beans. We, our, our love was the nature. We decided to put the entire farm into, into various programs, um, CRP and, and the, the many other programs. And we've uh, converted most of that into grasslands. The response the, the land has done to that, the, the change of the of the, the, the smell, the feel of that has been unbelievable. <laughs>